right, so today we're here for another survival trapping video. Um, been doing quite a lot of these lately. I want to put out, um, you know, a really comprehensive series on primitive traps. The ones that work anyway. There's a million different traps out there that you can use. But really, there's a lot of them that are overcomplicated to construct and really kind of ineffective in the field. So we mainly focus here at Sigma 3 on the stuff that works and the rest goes out the window. Basically what I'm going to create today is a split stick, split stick figure 4 deadfall, which is one of my favorites. I, I don't like the figure 4, but I like this trap for larger deadfalls, especially like uh, the figure 4 uh, deadfall in the other video for medium sized game, like up to coyotes or uh, raccoons, things like that. But the reason I like this is that it, it can be constructive like really, really quickly in comparison to the normal uh, figure four. The figure four is a lot more difficult to construct than a lot of people might imagine. There are a lot of angles and, and beginners have trouble with it. This will completely eliminate all those issues and it's actually a stronger trap. So I'm going to show you the carvings and then I'll show you how to set it up. The first step in the process is to take your main upright piece and your top piece um, and you're going to construct those out of this, this one stick. And the reason that we like to do this instead of carving individual sticks is because by splitting this stick we take all the angles out of it and we essentially make it much more easier or much easier to you know put the the pieces of the trap together because the problem with the figure four is when you start getting all the angles together on all the different carvings it becomes difficult to get it to set because it'll twist one way or the other under weight so if one of your little your notches is off then essentially it'll throw your whole trap off so this eliminates next step is to put a 45 on your base piece and that is going to sit into a number seven notch really the most important thing to remember is that this top is flat and that the 45 is even all the way across otherwise the trap will sway to the low low side so you want to make sure that it's flat all the way across once you get your base completed, then you want to move on to making your top piece. And in order to do that, I need to make a number seven notch right here at the top. And probably my favorite way to do that is to use a little bushcraft saw of some type. And you want it about three inches down from the top maybe. Really kind of depends on the size of the trap how long your top bar is but you don't want your number seven notch too far back from the edge and then I'm just gonna carve this out with my knife and make it look like a seven now once you get your number seven notch completed then you're going to 45 the top and 45 the bottom Here is the finished top piece. 45 there, 45 there, number seven notch right in the middle or two thirds of the way to the top. So the next step after you get your base piece, your top piece, and these fit together and it should look just like a number four once you're done. And now I'm taking the base or the the bait tr stick, and I'm going to make a couple of notches in it. One here, and then one right back here. And this is the beauty of this: by having these two straight edges right here, I take all the angles out of you know screwing these things up, which is fairly common with beginners. I've seen people sit around and, and try to figure or uh, you know have a perfect one in front of them and not be able to make and set one in an hour's time whereas I've taken total beginners and had them you know knocking these things out in 15 minutes so it's a substantially easier uh, you know trap to carve so now I'm going to make two number seven notches one right here 
uh, towards the, the front and then another one right here. Make you a number seven notch. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then once you get the number seven notch, you want to take your entire trap and then start hooking it together and gauge where you want your next number seven. This is the trickiest part of the trap. And here we go. You got your base piece. Your base piece fits into your number seven notch right here. You take your trigger stick and here are the notches that I was referring to. There's one towards the top and then there's another one right here and those need to be approximately a 45 degree turn from each other and they fit together just like this all the weight is basically put up here and there's your trigger and we're going to show you how to set that up under the rock all right so here's how you set it this is the finished product it's in the shape of number four the one problem with this type of track track is that it's our trap is that it's directional so you're going to want to block off the side that uh isn't you know that you don't want the animal to come in because he'll essentially take the trigger out by knocking it in this direction that's the one downside of this trigger and that's why I like to use it on uh, only larger uh, style deadfalls where we're taking stuff like coons and whatnot but this is perfect for demonstration and it's not to say that you can't use these for smaller game it's just like rats and squirrels and things like that it's just not my preferred uh, trap so you take your your bait stick and everything is controlled with this hand back here um, you know you don't ever want to have to stick your your hand under the deadfall for any reason and then you're going to lock in the notch up here at the front and then it hooks into the side and basically you will tie your bait physically to the trigger stick always do that because things like mice and small rodents will they're just super sensitive and they'll just literally chew your bait right off and, and not set the trigger so you want to make sure that um, it's attached real well and then you just put the the bait back there on the pointed point of the trigger so that they have to move it around and this is what i was referring to about the trap being directional the animal would need to push in this direction to set the trigger now it'll work both ways it's just not very sensitive the other way so what will happen is the animal will come in and they'll uh, hit the trigger bait and, and it falls over and there you have it that is the split stick figure four it's one of my favorite uh, primitive trap triggers for larger uh, deadfalls you know works for the little ones um, but I don't typically use a figure four for smaller primitive traps anyway just because of the sensitivity and they're only uh, one directional so uh, there's a lot of other traps out there that are better for rats and rabbits and things like that I, I prefer a Paiute or similar type traps 
but you know for coons things like that where you don't need a super crazy sensitive trigger this thing can be constructed as big as it needs to be. I mean you can take larger trees I mean you can make these figure fours as, as big as you want so uh, this is something that you definitely need practice on figure four is is actually one of the more difficult triggers even though you see it constantly used in survival books so get out in your yard try these things let me know how it works for you we love to hear results about you know how you do with these things and uh, we appreciate your commentary and guys the best way to help support us is to subscribe uh, share our videos on forums things like that and, and and put us out there on the web so that we can keep expanding these videos and making it bigger and better and uh, you know if you like the video please click the like button and uh, subscribe so thanks for all your continued support and your viewership <laughs>